happy first day of summer and welcome back to Old Dog New Blog. I'm Nicole Erkin here with Ross Kenneth Erkin and Jim Kramer and we're talking ideas and trends of the younger generation, Jim, once again. This week we're talking the selfie, which makes many people cringe. The self-portrait picture, we think peace signs, we think duck faces. Ross is a huge fan of these. <laughs> I'm no expert in the selfie, but, but I've definitely taken some pains this week to, to further my knowledge. Um, well, further my knowledge then, because when I first heard selfie, it was one of those things, again, is often the case with old dog. Uh, I found myself, selfie, yeah, sure, I selfie, but it was, it's not even a verb like that. Right. So it's something that I think is viewed by old dogs as a narcissistic symptom totally. of youth. But it actually might indicate something more about our value system uh, and, and social psychology as we speak. So selfies have always been around just in uh, less instantaneous form. We had um, you know, Van Eyck's famous portrait of a man in a turban and it's uh, often thought to be, 1433, it's thought to be the first uh, self-portrait in the modern world and that's um, non-religious. Well, I, I would say first self-portrait where the artist is the main character okay. in a painting. And, so it's been um, with us for early yeah, Renaissance. Okay. And uh, we always have, if you think of the Arnolfini portrait, you have the artist actually inserting himself into the convex mirror right. in the back. We want to mm -hmm. become part of the art. And it used to be the advent of uh, panel paintings and uh, the the wide availability of mirrors. Now it's the flip cam on our phone where we can actually see ourselves taking so, portraits. Technology got us here, right? This was right. something that we wouldn't have thought of if we didn't ever thought. I mean, you had a dumb phone. Obviously, this is just never going to happen. So this is just technology catching up to the 1400s. Right. The new dog is the old old dog. Right. Okay. Yeah. And there is this looking glass concept in psychology where we value ourselves based on how others perceive us. So as we appear in social media, that is our true self-worth. Our, our Facebook profile picture that gets likes is how we compare ourselves in this school right, but let me go one step further. We would have compared ourselves in a late stage capitalism by how much we're worth. You're saying that we're beyond that. We are beyond that. I think when you you have over 600,000 followers on Twitter, right. to some degree that mm -hmm. adds to your perception of yourself, your influence, your self-value. When you get positive comments, that affects your psychology for the day. When you get mm -hmm. negative comments. Now, the images, though, take it to another level. Instagram in particular, one of the reasons it's been so popular is they have filters that actually make you look, in many ways, in my opinion, more attractive in your pictures. Mm -hmm. It might give a cool kind of vibe to a certain picture. And a old, vintage a feel. A vintage feel. And one of the reasons people love applying the filters in Instagram to pictures is it, again, alters the way that they're going to be portrayed. And particularly now that you have so many more people that you're interacting with on a mm -hmm. social basis, that perception is all the more important than what outfit you put on and go out and wear during oh, oh, the, oh, well, a day. No, uh, yesterday I was up at ESPN getting made up by a woman, and I said, uh, you know what, well, why don't we do, you and I do a Snapchat? And she was mortified that I said <laughs> this. Now, I Snapchat with my daughter. Once again, the old dog has stepped in it, right? I would say so. Snapchat tends to be for more, for closer friends. Yeah. I did some field research yesterday at the at the offices here at the street, <laughs> and so I uh, I really I I did the uh, mirror shot in the bathroom. I did the duck face, and at first I really the what the duck face where your lips almost go toward your nose up Very to the common. nostrils. And I had first I had done something where I. I did a, a blue steel face inspired by the movie Zoolander, um, the, you know, many years ago. But um, it wasn't enough, so I did push-ups to train, and and I really think I came up with something. Um, You're telling me this isn't vanity. This is insane. This isn't vanity. I'm proving oh. myself. Well, what is word. vanity? What is vanity if not this? Who is vanity? What is she? 
Shakespeare. <laughs> Remember him? <laughs> How was he on the video? I'm Self. aware. But, <laughs> <laughs> but ultimately, it is. It's your, you're proving your self-worth, and that is your vanity, okay. your, no, your value. No, as you know also, we all filter our, so I think this extends to our social presence, our social identity. On Facebook, other people can tag you on in pictures. But you can detag, you can remove it from your timeline. In other words, you have control over the image you want to portray online. Okay. As they say, uh, you know, everyone has their highlight reel right. on social media. That's why it's tough when you compare. And I think that that's, this selfie is your way of really having ownership over how you present yourself. All right, old dogs, how do old dogs get selfie? What do we do in our, in our, hand, in our device that we are selfie people? Vine, how do we do that? What do we do? How do we get this? We order, we download, we you just take iTunes, a picture I store, and I, you can post it. You can you post can, it on Instagram or right, Facebook Right, you can or use your cell phone's basic uh, camera model, and you know, ideally, you would have if you want to combine the self worth with the actual worth. You can, uh, like rich kids of Instagram, have like a Bruget watch and, and kind of snap that photo with you or with a with a nice car. So, so we're so. gonna do something very meta, Jim. What's that? Meta, <laughs> metallurgical, <laughs> <Which> obviously. <laughs> metallurgical, and indeed. We know you have your CNBC headshot, but we're gonna do a selfie here okay. because that's important. Yeah. And you, you can do a duck face. Oh, but you, you have to do cool one or two. You, you never do a selfie with anyone else. You just do a self selfie. But no, a group, a group selfie. selfie. We you have a group control selfie? over yeah. the picture. Okay. A yeah, groupie? So I don't. <laughs> All right, so let's see. All right, there, there we, we go. go. Our and first that selfies. Work? That's oh. Jim Cramer <laughs> just took his first selfie. We'll keep taking more. <laughs> Take some yourself. I'm Nicole Erkin with Ross, Kenneth Erkin, and Jim Cramer. Thanks for being with us on Old Dog, New Blog.